force tries to replace him. But when Akufuado won, there was that kind of banter between Akufuado supporters and Alan supporters. And I was explain why. If you look at what is going on now, when Akufuado won, all those he knew were Alan supporters were not given position. In Akufuado's first term and second term, all those who were even in among MPP were say, saying that this person is Alan supporter will not be given position. Mm -hmm. And the mistake Alan did was that he did not reach out to those people. So if because of Alan, I'm not giving any position to Kufuado's government, Alan was supposed to reach out to them and say that, hey, I know you were not giving any position because of me, but wait, when I come to power, I will sort you out. That did not happen. So some of these guys waited on the peripheral, waiting for Alan to come and tell them something. It never happened. And eventually they were roped into a Kufuado's government. So now they began to walk away from Alan, and he never saw it. So if you look at what happened at the super delegates, out of the 961 individuals, but about 950 something eight that voted, the Ashanti people failed Alan. Mm -hmm. And that is a stronghold. So when your stronghold failed you, our elders will say that they took the ladder off his feet. And when you have people like Waseche Mensah and the others coming to say that, uh, even people should not contest, they should give it to Baumia. It means that the people you were expecting to support you at your stronghold have failed you. Ashanti region alone, Baumia had almost 80% of the votes, more than any other region. And it's meant to Alan that he doesn't have that kind of the base. And if you don't have the base, you can have a pace. 